Hi, I'm Silvio and this is part 18 of my Christmas Village 2021 full tutorial series. I am sorry for the loud noise, but right now a mob of figurines is shouting and swearing at me because they are still in the boxes. I have to arm myself with whatever I can find, power cords, fences, street lamps, and try to fend off the murderous horde. Will they survive? Happy Halloween, guys. Now let me start this part 18 of the 2021 series by precising something I've already told you many times, but it's never too much in this case. In just some minutes, I will start using and placing my street lamps. So why have I spent so much time on making my own street lamps instead of using those classic, beautiful, styled Lamax street lamps? Very easy answer. Uh, I generally tend to film uh, my Christmas village in the evening or even in the in plain night when all the surrounding lights, like in this case, <laughs> they are switched on, but imagine they will be sh switched off. I will need a proper way to light up the Christmas village, otherwise the camera will shoot in the dark and it will be useless. Uh, I know that the majority of you are used to those street lamps there, but what happens if I switch off the main light right now? Be right back. Voila! I have one, two, three and four street lamps very close one to another uh, to each other and it's still too dark the building even if it is a lighted building so you will have a light inside without a proper uh, font of light you can appreciate every aspect of that building okay and that's why generally you tend to use spotlights Bright blue, white, or white or blue spotlights in plain middle of the street or in plain middle of a square with a fountain in the middle. No, this, this is not correct. Sorry to tell you that because in real life, imagine I don't know uh, Piazza di Spagna in Italy, I don't know Trafalgar Square or any other square in the world uh, with monuments, with uh, beautiful buildings at night, with very uh, low lighted street lamps and the need of uh, a big giant um, spotlight on the floor. Never seen it before and you will never see it in real life. What is the solution? It's to not use Lamax street lamps and using my proper street lamps. Let me just switch on this only little street lamp. Okay. Everything has changed and imagine if I have the street lamps here Right to the near the building This is a much more correct illumination for the village for a building and with proper with proper shadows Look at the shadows there under the porch here. All the shadows are absolutely correct. 
with just the Lamax street lamps, like in this case, no shadows at all, guys. No, and <coughs> sorry, and a, a very dark scene with proper street lamps. No need to use spotlights, and that's the reason I made those street lamps. Let me switch on the light. So, uh, let's continue the uh, what I've uh, started uh, last uh, with last part last week for me at least, uh, and I will go with there. I made some changes there because I didn't like the way uh, I placed the fences. Now it is somehow more geometric and better suited. Also, I know I told you I will never um, cut the big fences there, the canal fences, but I need absolutely to start cutting them and I made an example there. Instead of having a long three section f canal fences, I have one simple canal fence there very short canal fence. Then I also placed a couple of spots for a couple of street lamps there. So let me place the camera in another better position. Then I will start working there. Comes round, you better run for cover. Or he's 
is gonna keep you up all night It's gonna take you out and get you lit and call your brother Here in the plate, hide in a fan He'll leave you knocked down, sit and cry for your mother And when you're on the ground, he'll pick you up and say, have another boy It's gonna take you for a ride You'll have to spend it all And he won't stop till you're talking funny Be waking up wishing you had died And in the morning when your head is split And your nose is bloody You can take my tip And next time you can thank me, buddy Next time hide your money When will it comes it rhymes Someone new, I know it. Yeah, but I will keep on and I yeah. gotta keep my emotions running wild. Need someone to hold my horses. Yeah, cause I go fast, yeah, I go hard. I wanna find some peace, so I pray to God. It takes it all. God, 
Sometimes I go for the gold. I never thought you were easy prey. I just knew I was old. Intentions were well. Correct me if I'm wrong, baby. I want no lines to be blurred, 'cause I can see the light of love shining, baby, from behind those bedroom eyes. Stranger's tone, all right. She says I know what I have done, but I can't live my life like a bandit on the run. So cut me. Right down to the plane where you feel. 
I'm knocking at my door and don't need my phone, yeah. Go somewhere else with your remorse. I already moved on. Did you think that you could crawl back to me? We Sunday morning feels that ache inside my heart. I can hold on any longer for seconds from falling apart. Wasn't like any other summer. Soon it let that warm summer breeze. Although you gave me your promise, that you were never gonna leave. 
final recap of this part 18 of the 2021 series, the scariest part ever. So let me start from this section here. I completed the, the fences, then I also added all the uh, street lamps. And uh, you have seen me uh, how I do it. I simply place the street lamps wherever I need them to be. Then I carve into the styrofoam the grooves for um, making space for the uh, wires, for the cables and everything else. Then I pin with pins the wires into the groove. Then, then I cover everything with a uh, paper tape in order to uh, mask the, um, the grooves. And just remember that uh, and the, um, the grooves, they are still visible under the um, paper tape and everything else will be masked either by the snow and something else before the ending of the project. So here I add from the left side here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then on the back, those aren't standard street lamps. They, uh, those are 8.5 centimeters tall. Those one in the back, one and two are 24.5 centimeters tall. Why? I didn't want to have uh, street lamps in plain middle of the uh, ancient Greek park. So I managed to get them higher in order to have a larger cone of light. Here, the cone will start from the top here and go down. But if I place a taller street lamp, the cone will be higher, will be wider. So with those two street lamps, very high street lamps in the back, I can uh, have much more surface covered by the street lamps. In this case, all the uh, ancient Greek park is um, in plain, no, not in plain light, is illuminated by the uh, street uh, lamps. Uh, not very bright because this is not supposed to be um, uh, very, very populated by, uh, during the night, but I've uh, managed to do that. Uh, also, the stairs you haven't seen me doing it but i finally painted the stairs uh, my usual technique black then uh, gray then uh, brown then uh, white um, and all is uh, dry brushed uh, also the second stair there getting to uh, zeus okay and also the other stair was still need that, that i still need to paint there is now finished with the two columns on the left and right. Um, fences, yeah, let me start from here. I still miss one little piece of fence here, okay? But then I added also one other street lamp here and this will be covered by uh, rock paper. So uh, I haven't masked the, the uh, wires there and another street lamp street lamp is there so this one will uh, will um will light up this angle here then i have here one street lamp that illuminate this that light up this little corner and this one uh, for uh lighting up the stairs there and here i still have a visible all the wires i used but these will be covered by a snow also here, some pieces there, but not very, very hard to hide. Uh, let me continue here with this uh, section here. Uh, same technique for the street lamps, one, two, and then I went with one uh, cable starting from this uh, street lamp here, going down there, two, three, four, five street lamps, all connected with the same uh, wire, with the same cable. And then I've added here all the fences, all the kind of fences around here and masked, obviously, all the grooves. Same thing uh, there. 
it has been an intense work on, gro on making grooves and on hiding everything and but now uh, all the street lamps are done no not precisely i still need to do all this section here the first main important level here with plenty of things walls uh, little walls etc needs to be managed no um, power cords attached there to the grocery to the santa here i still have to do this but this will not cause problem at all because it is very accessible i have very a very difficult time accessing all the buildings and um, <clears throat> posing all the street lamps there on this level here then on the level of the carolers and then the other two levels i had to work in very difficult conditions another type of fence i added all along the railroad it, from this side here from the viewer side from the camera side no need to have fences because this is only the part that is outside the living space and so uh, no fences there but from the other side uh, over the tracks i added those little uh, wooden uh, fences um, you may see there maybe i get closer there maybe you are wondering what are those pole there wood pole one here one there one there and the other on the other side i use them to get support to stabilize the uh, fences okay uh, let me just explain to you very uh, quickly and i will pose the camera here i try to pose the camera there uh, or no uh, okay mm. sorry I need to find a place maybe there okay uh, good these are those are the fences and this is a little piece of one what I did I bend it at 90 degrees here this side here and then this other side here bend it also three Three, okay, three from left and three from uh, right, okay. But I uh, was worried that it could do this to fall down. So what I uh, use it, I use it. Uh, those uh, wooden stick there, okay. I don't know if you can see them, but those are wooden stick, uh, absolutely useful. Then I placed them right there on the corners. Uh, three centimeters getting over the fences and the rest is under is i i made some holes and then on the corners i've um, i fixed them into the uh, styrofoam but for fixing the uh, wooden stick here on the uh, on the fences what i use it I used some pieces of uh, of uh, wires, um, but those are a um, couple of wires inside network cables. I have many, many meters, many, many yards of uh, spare um, network cables, so I generally tend to use them inside a network cable, a wire um, a cab a wire. A network wire there are eight <coughs> couples of wire okay and then i took two of them in this case i have i took one simply one of them maybe yes one of them then i've stripped the, the wire in order to have just the uh, the pure copper cable and not colored one okay and then I've used this to make uh, the connection between the fences and the wooden stick. So I've done this. And then pass through. And then here, the cable here, then I've fixed uh, once again okay 
for both uh, for top and bottom and this is how i uh, went now the uh, wire the the fences the wooden fences are very um, are much not very stable are much more stable and they don't risk to fall down on the uh, railroad or anything or anywhere else and this is so getting a nice touch because this is something uh, oh, some of the details i was t telling you uh, I, I told you in in past and i will continue to tell you uh, details are very important so um, no, just think not to lay down, simply lay down the fences like that, but add something uh, on the uh, on both of the left and right side. And this gives another look, another touch to everything else. Behind there, you can see the fences. And I've uh, managed to hide uh, the street lamps. So one... Uh, not here, no, they are simply all visible, but one, you have one um, street lamp behind the church there. So it is just visible, a little tip there. And another one is behind the uh, Slater's home. So it will cause no problems on the point of view, is there, behind the Slater's uh, manor there. And... Uh, and it will get light towards the buildings on the uh, third level, uh, one, two, three, on fourth level, yes, fourth level, without uh, damaging the point of view. Then here, another very tall street lamp. Why? I needed to project light towards the station, obviously, but also it in toward the uh, the balcony towards the platform towards the stairs the big stairs and instead of having uh, a street um a street lamp on top of the platform on top of the uh, balcony there i went with this solution because otherwise i will have to <laughs> find a solution to mask the wires that I, they will be uh, visible on the uh, balcony there so this street lamp here illuminated this section here then the station then the uh, stairs so this corner here still to uh, do everything here, oh, I've forgot to connect the hidden cover seaside retreat to the uh, to the uh, power cord next time. Uh, here, uh, one street lamp here, one street lamp in the corner there, and then this one, the this one here on top of everything is getting light in the middle there. Also here on the slope, on the slope here we had maybe maybe a lot of uh, trees on the back there. I don't know, but this is a solution. I didn't want to have a street lamp there, there or here. I will have other things. So this one is getting uh, a triangle of light. Okay, it will um, it will uh, um, light up here a part of the um, seaside there but also here uh, on the corner here and uh, but it tends to fade the light tends tends to fade uh, approaching the building so this one uh, will also make another another <clears throat> flare of light there okay and that's all i think here yes uh, uh, let me go here. So I've masked here uh, the wires, obviously, and then I fixed the uh, street lamp. Here I've connected also the uh, candy uh, stand there. Street lamp here, and yes, there. You may see what I was telling you, the street lamp behind the letters uh, manor, uh, invisible, but it will uh, project light towards the pub and the other uh, buildings. Then, then uh, here a uh, street lamp to uh, project light towards the uh, candle scotch in. Oops, I forget this. Then, here, uh, 
fences all around there. Then I added a stair there. I made a stair and added a stair in order to access the um, the final uh, level there. And then I've used some very uh, rustic uh, fences there, wood. I made them with some uh, skewers and then I painted it uh, with some um, brownish, uh, with some sienna and brown mixed, and then I placed them there. This is not the final thing because this is a working process. Uh, this is a construction site, so uh, not uh, uh, precisely done as here, maybe in the future, but this is only uh, fences in order to delimitate the construction site from everything else. Okay, so street lamp here, street lamps all along there towards the mountain view lodge, and then the 42 centimeters tall street lamp there. Uh, here, generally, I use uh, uh, two washers to give stability and to, give, to make it more uh, heavy. Uh, for the 42 centimeters tall uh, street lamp, I've used a tree washer, very heavy base there. And then I've also secured it to the platform and there. This is intended to make a large light cone there from the top there. This is not, uh, uh, this, this don't need to be very, very illuminated, very, very lighted up because this is a construction site. But I wanted some, uh, Different um, different effect there with light coming from the top, projecting the light here. And once it will be, I've already tested it, but I haven't filmed it. And once it will be uh, switched on, it gives an interesting look to the uh, um, future home's uh, uh, corner there. And also everything is connected to power cords, also the windmill there and everything else. And what else? Uh, also, I made the power cords for the uh, health uh, for the health workshop there and the Santa's uh, and the Santa's cottage there. But I still need to find a solution on how to bring light there. It is for next time. Oh yes, also another small. Uh, stair there, just a three centimeter, no, four, uh, four centimeters uh, wide stair in order to get access to the post office, and then on the back there, the um, the last uh, stair I made to get access to the um, to the small waterfall uh, section there. Okay, uh, it's uh, a mess around me right now. I need to. I, oh yes, all the wires are there on that hole under the balcony. I didn't uh, uh, cover it because I wanted to, to uh, show you it. So all the wires get there. I have all the wires from the church, the carolers, uh, the, oh, so, sorry, for, from the church uh, carolers, um, uh, Slater's uh, Manor station getting through there and also all the street lamps there, here, and all the wires coming from this side, from the pub here towards me, and then the car rest, they go this, this way here, uh, on the middle there, and they go through that hole, and they come here, or they come here. This section will be um, covered with um, rock paper, and just look at the mess on the ground, <laughs> These are the, those are just half the wires. The other half is from the the other side. No, a third of the wires. One third here, one third from the other side, and one third from the back. For all the buildings and everything else is here. I will need to work under the um, the plywood there, and it is for another time. But I tested everything. Just imagine having done this work. All this work with the street lamps, uh, uh, cabling them and putting them on service without testing them. So I tested one by one each, uh, each time I connected uh, street lamps to the main uh, wire. 
I tested it, then I went with the next one, next one, next one. All have been tested. And also I connected the fountain with the, with the um, power cable. Okay, and the uh, power cable for, for the fountain is going there and then gets here in the, uh, on the side of the uh, Pearson's uh, cottage there. And then they comes here. So I have all the wires here and there. Still need to connect down there the hidden, co uh, the um, seaside hidden coal. Mm. Seaside Hidden Cove. No, what's the, what's the name? I forgot the name. Hidden Cove Seaside Retreat. Okay, and sorry, I fixed it on the my small pins. Then everything is connected. Everything is tested. So I still need a couple of more of uh, street lamps there. One in that corner here, and one in this corner here for bringing more light to the uh, pier arbor section. Here I have all the, uh, all the wall-mounted uh, street lamps and that uh, will be enough. So next part will be managing here, 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 here. We still need to find some place for uh, Mm, street lamps I don't know if from that side or this side maybe here mm, I don't know I want to add some very elegant uh, trees there also so these need to be managed this is my main entrance my main point of view I will need to add plenty of micro scenes right there but for the first time, I worked very hardly for a very long time. Uh, anyway, tomorrow... No. No. Tomorrow is holiday. Yes, tomorrow is holiday, at least in, in Italy, okay? Uh, so I will have time for uh, progressing a, a little more. Now I will... Have I forgot something? I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, no, 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 I don't think, uh, if I uh, forgot something, uh, my uh, bad, and that's all for part I think, I think, that's all for Halloween, very strange, I will post it in the night between the 31 and the 1st of November, um, the night between the 31st uh, October and uh, 1st of November, so the night of Halloween. See you for my outro. Okay, this update here, part 18, is the result of 14 hours of intense work. And no, I didn't make all those hours today. I started uh, Tuesday evening with the uh, stairs because it is very time consuming painting such long pieces. So the three stairs I started. Uh, Tuesday evening, then some other preparations, some uh, cutting here and there the, for the street lamps because I uh, had, I already had the street lamps, the 8.5 centimeter street lamps from uh, last season, but the tallest one, the 24.5 uh, centimeters and the 42.5 centimeters are absolutely new. So I did those preparations during the week. Then. On the weekend, between Saturday and Sunday, I've done everything else here. You can see everything else. And it's starting to get a decent look. Uh, it's starting to get where I want it to go. And maybe next time, part 19, with part 19, I will be able to start placing the figurines. Because, shh! I managed to calm them, but they are still very angry. And I will finish also part the first level, okay? Not entirely, I will finish the main structure of the first level with part 19. So part 19, part 20 will be the last two parts. I think so, I hope at least. Halloween part 18, is about to end so as always please don't forget to subscribe comment and give 
thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English. And if you wish, and if you are still alive, see you next time. Thank you.